Hello, my name is Erin. I am a certified life coach, mindfulness and meditation practitioner, and mindset guru. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the number one thing that you need in order to transform yourself. Before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notifications on all future videos. Okay, so in my previous video, I talked to you about how to approach setbacks, how to approach obstacles and challenges on your self-transformation journey. I want to kind of continue in that same line, that same direction, and I want to talk to you about what the number one thing is that you will need in order to really progress through your self-transformation journey, and that is going to be inspiration or passion. What is the why is that? Well, in the beginning, you're not going to have all of the skills. You're not going to have all of the tools. You're going to be in such a different place from the beginning of your self-transformation journey to the end. You really don't want to just make it all about the things that you can do in the moment, okay? Because you're not going to have those. But what you will have is your inspiration or your motivation, your passion, and your why. When you have all of these nailed down, this is going to give you the fuel that you need in order to progress on your self-transformation journey and also to not give up when you encounter those obstacles and those failures. So I particularly believe that there is a difference between motivation and inspiration. Motivation is going to be an external force, an external force that is driving your behavior. So when you were younger, um, your parents might have told you, okay, you need to do the dishes by the time I get home. Otherwise, you're going to be grounded. Well, you don't want to be grounded and your parents grounding you is that external force driving your behavior. Versus inspiration is an internal force or energy that's driving your behavior. So this is going to be, once again, your whys or your, your, your personal reason why you want to do something other than an external force enacting its, its energy upon you. So both of them are equally as important, but I think that inspiration is just a little bit stronger because typically for motivation, when you remove that motivating factor, the behavior, you may no longer engage in it. And we're trying to develop new habits and new responses to life. So in generating your inspiration, which is the number one thing that you will need or your passion, you want to think about positive inspiration and negative inspiration. Typically, we're either going towards something or away from something. Emotionally, we're either going towards pleasure or away from pain. So you can ask yourself really two questions to help you generate that inspiration. What is my life going to look like once I have accomplished my goal or once I have achieved my success? So you can think about this in terms of the external things in your life, how the external things are going to change. But you can also think about this how, as how are you going to feel? And the thing about the law of attraction and manifestation, if you're into that, it's all about generating that feeling of success and accomplishment first and then allowing that energy to drive you. So if you are clear on what you want your life to look like, how it is going to be once you have achieved that success and how are you going to feel, you can get yourself in alignment with that. Now, sometimes we do that, but that's not enough. Then that's when I would ask you to consider your negative motivations or your negative inspirations. So that could be, what's the worst that could happen to me if I don't do this? So say one of your goals is getting your health and fitness together. And then you think about, okay, what's the worst thing that could happen? Maybe you have some side of, some sort of core morbidity, or maybe you have an illness that is within your control, but you're not actually doing anything to help yourself. And maybe you won't be around to see your children or your grandchildren grow up. Or maybe you're going to lose functionality or mobility within your body. So you can see that both the positive and negative inspiration are going to drive your behavior. So I would say go ahead and grab a journal and explore this area. Explore these two topics and really get clear on why it is that you want to go through this self-transformation journey. So I hope that this information has helped you out. If it has, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. And I will see you once again for more videos on self-transformation.